welcome to our training session on holiday packages and selling holiday packages. These are actually home game packages designed so that you don't have to put them on. Whoever you sell them to will put them on by themselves. Um, and they're very, very easy to sell. They're not very high priced, but they're good. You can sell them all year round, but we call them holiday packages because right now it is the holiday season, of course. And we usually have special holiday themes throughout the year as appropriate uh, that people can set up. And uh, the nice thing about it is we don't charge extra for the holiday themes where we do charge extra for themes such as Wild West and, and Camelot and some of the other Roaring Twenties so on. So the holiday themes are inclusive packages for that time of year. You can sell them all year round in a variety of different uh, styles. But let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what they are. We sell home game packages on the website, and I suggest you go to the website and take a look at what they are. You can also see what kind of themes we have and uh, the fact that the themes are extra. Now, what we sell on the website is specifically for people who are just finding it on the website. Uh, I would suggest that you might also want to send people to the website just so they can see the different kinds of games. But if you want to, you can set the price of the home games that you sell slightly higher and we'll do a little bit of customization for them so they get a little bit more um, and that will justify the extra price. So the home games are basically designed so that people can put them on. They're great for holiday entertainment. They're great for vacations, reunions, parties, and all kinds of groups of people who are getting together and may not even know each other. So it's a good, it's a good icebreaker. We'll talk about that a little later. Uh, we sell home game packages uh, for for basically anywhere from six people on up and uh, we they are really good we can do them for as many as 100 people depending on what they are so we're going to help you get familiar with them and get comfortable with them and then get out and sell them so first let's take a look at exactly what a home game is a home game can be a character game for eight or more people we can do it for as few as six but it's hard to get it to work with less than that um, home games can be a live action clue game, which again is for uh, five or more people. These included uh, adaptions for children and for young adults. Uh, they can be done as a single event uh, and they're, they can be done as family groups and so on. So you can also sell custom games where you set your own pricing. Normally the theme events are extra as we mentioned before. So take a look at what we offer and what they are. Again, they are designed so that the person gets a package and puts on the, the entire thing by themselves. So what exactly is a home package? When you sell a home package, it's designed to be shipped directly to the person who orders it, even if it's actually ordered through you. Uh, we'll set up a private page on the website for orders that you, either they can access or you can access or we can send an invoice. However it's done, uh, we go ahead, once the order is complete, we send them the package. And the package they will receive will have all of the information they need to put on the event. It'll have an instructional video about setting up the game and it'll have a video that starts the game by introducing the players to what's going on and by setting the rules and so on. So it actually is what we usually stand up and do in person, but we can do it with a video. So the clues are included along with suggestions of how the clues can be used to time the game and uh, how to get them out to the players. Uh, they'll receive ribbons uh, for the Super Sleuth in both games. In some of the games, they'll also get a ribbon for the, the money bags, and in some of them, they'll also get a Best Actor uh, award. Uh, we also have coasters or writing pens that write in, in invisible ink and, and a little uh, thing on the end of them where you can turn a blue light on them and see what's been written. Those are really popular with the kids. So they can order those along with the package. Some of them are included, some of them aren't. Uh, and they're included in the pricing of the package. They can also use their own uh, prizes so they don't use ours. They can come up with their own. Some of the adult games like to give out bottles of wine or something like that. The point is that these packages are completely self-contained. You do not need to be there. You do not need to help them put on the event. If they have any questions, they can call or email us. So it's something that once you sell it, you have no further involvement with it. They can use it when they want to. And that's one of the good things about the events is that they don't, it may not be the most expensive uh, event that you can sell, so you won't make as much commission, but they're very easy because you don't have to do anything with them once they've been sold. So who are you going to sell them to? Again, start close to home. 
try one of these for the holidays for your own group of friends or, or relatives any large group that you belong to uh, anybody that you know that's getting together start with them and ask them what they're doing for the holidays if they'd like a little bit of entertainment uh, you can put something on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter on any social media that you're using um, and then whatever else you might need if you need flyers if you need ads to put onto some of these things whatever you're doing in any size if it's a graphic uh, presentation from an ad to a flyer we can get it together for you so you can also talk to local restaurants hotels clubs any kind of gatherings uh, during the holidays and uh, forward them the information talk to them about why this is a good add-on and uh, see if they want to add something like this to what they're doing so that's a good uh, a good place to start it also is a place that you can start building some relationships for further on down throughout the year so get to know the directors at some of the local hotels especially and resorts they often book conferences and business uh, events and so on and a lot of times those people are looking for something that they can do as a kickoff on on the opening night or whatever and uh, talk to the director make friends with them you know bring them a cupcake sometimes whatever and you know spend some time with them and they'll be good about recommending you for some of the events that they have and you can either sell it to them and let them make a markup on it or you can go ahead and sell it directly to the businesses if they will give you a lead on who the contact person is uh, and so on so you know don't forget the local bed and breakfast those are another good place to start um, and local rentals uh, as on Airbnb those are something that that can add on to their packages they can add a little bit of extra money onto it they can sell the packages and uh, and then you know they get some extra money for it they really are are very often selling to people who want to relax but they want to have something to do while they're there so don't forget the the bed and breakfast and the um, and the rentals like Airbnb so of course you're interested in, in how you make money on this and and I have to admit this is not the highest price ticket that you can sell uh, the packages usually run from about $30 to $60 uh, with some wiggle room in there if you set your own pricing above that depends on how many people they have and so on uh, so you'd make about $15 to $40 depending on uh, your commission level and how much the package is but they are very easy and once you make the sale you don't do anything we set it up we send it to them you don't have anything else to do with it you don't have to show up you don't have to put on the event this is just money that once you get it sold that's all you have to do so uh, if you're we can invoice the B&B's we can invoice the rental properties we can invoice the the, the hotels or any of the the people that you might be selling to so you don't have anything else to worry about and the nice thing about this is if you set up some good relationships with these people you can continue to sell this kind of package not only just for the holidays but throughout the entire year uh, these are packages that can be used for all the holidays throughout the year but also there's some generic packages that can be used for um, events at any time so you know go ahead and talk about uh, you know make your relationships get them started it's very easy sometimes to be making you know a couple of hundred dollars a month for virtually doing nothing because you've got a relationship set up with these people and they just come back and order from you uh, every time they they have a call of course these are not just for the holidays we have a special Christmas package we have a special Thanksgiving theme uh, we can we're doing a New Year's theme so they aren't just for the holidays uh, they are games that you can do the same format throughout the whole year but uh, we are just right now trying to introduce this to you and it's the holiday season so we're going to go ahead and uh, push the fact that almost all the holidays we have a holiday package for and these are a good way to to do something interesting they're also a good way to you know to, because there are times when people get together there's a lot of groups getting together and so on a lot of parties so it's it's a nice thing that you can do you can get started on it you can feel comfortable with it and then you can really feel much better about what you're selling we always like to have you know what the benefits are of what you're selling so if you're selling one of these packages to somebody uh, you need to know what the benefits are I mean first of all it's fun and it's different it's something that people will be remembering for a long time and they'll associate it with a nice time that they had and who they who they spent the nice time with it gets people up moving and talking about uh, and talking to each other rather uh, they because they have to talk about the clues it's something that that intermingles a bunch of people even if they don't know each other at least at least 
half to three quarters of the comments we get back from the events that we do say that the most enjoyable thing is the fact that they get to talk to a lot of different people. They get to meet people in a non-threatening situation, so it's really, really good for, for that. Um, the interactivity sets up a good precedent for the rest of the visit if you're doing it for a, a reunion or, or some kind of a, of a, a meeting or a conference, whatever. Um, so it's something that's, that's very good. Um, it, people love a game of Clue, you know, for rentals and B&Bs. Uh, all they have to do is put it on their website, and when it's purchased, we do all the rest, so there's no effort uh, for the additional money that they're going to make out of it. And don't forget to tell your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your whatever uh, type of social media you enjoy, uh, that these are great for holiday parties where people may have a lot of different groups of people who don't know each other attending the same party. There may be his work friends, her work friends, or his and his work friends, whatever. Um, you may have a, a bunch of people that are relatives. You may have a bunch of people that are friends from different aspects of your life. So sometimes it's hard to get those people all in one place and talking to each other, and it can be a little awkward. So if they start off with one of these, these events, it starts people talking and being comfortable with the game. Once they talk to each other uh, through the game, when it ends, they're much more likely to go back and talk to each other throughout the evening. They'll make friends. And the next time you have a, a, an event where you invite people from different uh, aspects of your life, chances are they'll know each other. They'll remember each other from talking to them at the game. So it sets a, a good precedent for both now and in the future. And it's, it's really an interesting way to get people together and to combine groups of people who don't know each other. So where else can you find uh, customers? Well, obviously, you can find customers through Facebook and LinkedIn and social media that you're already on. You can find customers through talking and making friends with the directors at the bed and breakfast and resorts and, and uh, hotels in your area. Some of the restaurants host some big events. Um, you can also uh, put them on Craigslist, uh, Hoobly, other free classifieds that are in your area. We've actually had really good luck with Hoobly. Um, place an ad under several different uh, categories such as events and entertainment and parties and services and so on. They try different wording, uh, see what comes in and what you you know what you like doing. So whatever works for you is is good, but try a couple of different wording and headings and so on. And always be looking for new kinds of classified uh, sites. There's there's always new ones coming out. And when we find a new one, we usually try and put it on the on the um, information sites. But um, you know, take a look at them, and and that's a and actually a really good way to do it. We don't find that flyers put out places really bring in much business these days. It's it's not something people really look at and copy down and so on. Um, but you can contact local schools, senior centers, uh, churches. A lot of them are going to have uh, a newsletter and you can place a small ad in them for a reasonably small amount. Uh, and if that works for you and you can find something like that, that's great too. So let us know what you find. Let us know how you find uh, a way to what we call guerrilla marketing, which is marketing for not much money and getting you know good good exposure to it and uh, you know we'll put it out there for other people to try and they can put it out what they find that works and maybe you can try it too so again this marketing thing is something that we need to keep in good communication with each other and um, you know you don't need to be spending a lot of money on on advertising and so on as long as you take the effort and make some time to go out and talk to people Finally, uh, what kinds of advertising material do you need? Well, first of all, if you want business cards, uh, you can call us and or email us, and we will send you a JPEG or, or a PDF file that you can send directly to either um, Vistaprint, which you can get 50 cards for $9.99, uh, or some of the other uh, providers, if you just Google uh, business cards or inexpensive business cards, there's three or four sites that are doing them somewhere down in the $8 range. Um, Vistaprint includes shipping, so that's not a bad deal. Uh, so you can use business cards if you want to. A lot of our people don't use business cards. A lot of them simply use flyers. So if you contact us with uh, information about what kinds of groups that you're going to be calling on, uh, we can go ahead and provide a flyer for you that has your contact information on it. And that way, instead of leaving a business card, which people sometimes lose, you can actually use leave a flyer, which sometimes is, is a little more effective. So um, if you're calling on a hotel or a bed and breakfast or so, you might want to just go ahead and get a flyer that is specifically customized to the bed and breakfast or to the hotel or whatever it is. 
tell us who you're calling on and we'll send you uh, a flyer that is going to tell them all the information that they need to know uh, in order to make a decision it's going to remind them what the website is and it's going to give them your contact information so we find that uh, a lot of our salespeople prefer those to business cards but either way uh, we can do all the graphics for you and uh, you don't have to worry this concludes our our information on uh, selling home packages or holiday packages so uh, you know we hope you get out there and try it give it a try it's fairly simple this is kind of the low-hanging fruit of, of what we're doing so you know take a look at it and figure out what your target market is uh, find a way to attack that target market uh, and then start off making your own money and your own commissions so watch the emails that we send out uh, we usually use MailChimp to send them out uh, and watch for some special offers and uh, just go ahead and make sure that you call us or you email us with any questions you might have thank you